This video will go over making a 1.18.1 Minecraft server. If your computer looks like this, you can press the second link in the description which will bring you to this page. This is the official Minecraft server jar. However, from my experiences, it's always caused lag for all my friends. For this video, I will be downloading a server from PaperMC. These servers generally run faster and allow you to add plugins to boost quality of life. When you open this page, it might not look like mine depending on the version. Since 1.18.1 is still under development for paper, it might not be as stable. When you open this link, you want to download the most recent file by pressing this blue icon. Once the jar file has downloaded, you want to head to any drive of your choosing. For this video, I'll be in the C drive. The first step is to make a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. Then you want to open that folder and then drag the jar file into that folder. Then you want to open the jar file. Now, if your jar file doesn't open, you can try two things. You can go down to the bottom left here in the window search bar and type in CMD. This opens up your command prompt. Now in here, type in Java space dash version. And this will tell you the Java version that you have downloaded. 1.18 requires Java 17 or higher. If you don't have that, you can press the third link in the description which will bring you to this page. Here you want to make sure you're on Windows and you want to download the x64 installer right here. Now once you downloaded that and go back and try to open paper.jar and it still doesn't open, then you want to press the fourth link in the description which will bring you to this page. Jarfix is used to open up jar files that won't open up. You would want to download this jarfix.exe right here. Back to the Minecraft server folder, double click the paper.jar file. Now this will make a bunch of folders. What we're looking for is eula.txt. You want to open that up and set eula to true. Then you want to hit file save and you can close out of that. Then you want to right click, head to new text document. You want to name that starter. Then you want to open this and paste what I have in the description. This will open up the command line for the server. XMS is the minimum amount of RAM the server will use. XMX is the maximum amount of RAM the server will use. And both of those are in megabytes. Now here it's saying that it'll open up server.jar. That means that we have to rename the paper.jar file to server.jar. So you can right click, hit rename, and type in server and press enter. Now you can go back to this, press file, save, and close it. Then go to your starter.txt, right click it, press rename, and delete txt and replace it with bat. Then you press enter, and then you can press yes. Then you double click starter.bat, and this will open up your server. Okay, so the server finished loading, now you can open up Minecraft. Alright, here we are in Minecraft, you can press multiplayer, add server. In server address, you want to type in localhost. Done. Scroll down to it, press play. And there, we joined our server. So what we have here right now is a LAN server. If you want to invite your friends, you can port forward, and I have a video for that in the description. Now if you go back to the server folder, every time you want to open up your server, you can use the starter.bat file. To change the config of your folder, you want to go to server properties. Here you can see all the vanilla configs that you can change. These range from difficulty, so you can set it to normal if you want. You can also change it if you want PvP to be enabled or disabled. You can also set a whitelist, so here you can set true. You can change the MOTD, which is a server message in the server menu. You can change this message to anything you want. You can also change the color of this by putting a color code. Link to that in the description as well. You can change the game mode of your world. You can set it to creative. You can set if the world is set in hardcore mode or not. 
So here, once we're done with this, you can click File, Save. And then we can open up the server. Once the server is open, you can open up Minecraft. So here we can see that we changed the MOTD. It says, Hello YouTube, which is the message that we set in the config. If we go to Direct Connect and type in localhost, now when we press Join Server, it says you're not whitelisted on this server. If you go back to the server command line, you can type in whitelist add and then username. Then when you go back to the server and you try to join, it lets you in. Now from the command line, you can do all sorts of commands. Like here I can do time set day. And if I go to the server, the time is day now. So we set the server to normal in the server config. We can check that in options online. Here it says server difficulty is easy, which is a bug. We can fix that by going over to the command line and typing in difficulty normal. And then if we go back options online, you could see the difficulty is now normal. If you go back to the server folder, when making backups, you want to copy these world files right here. That's in case the world ever crashes or gets corrupt, then you can replace that with these world files. Just make sure you rename them to exactly what's listed here. When changing data packs, that'll be in a world and data packs. You can put all the data packs you want in this folder. If you want to change plugins, that'll be in your plugins folder. You can put any plugins that you want in this folder. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.